Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture of the course Digital Signal Processing. In the previous lecture, we have seen what is known as Z transform and we have also seen its formula. Let us revise that first. The Z transform of any discrete time signal X of n can be calculated using the formula X of Z is equal to summation n running from minus infinity to infinity x of n into z to the power minus n where this z is equal to r into e to the power j omega. We have also seen an important concept of region of convergence which is defined as the values of r which is equal to mod of z for which x of z that is a z transform is finite. In other words the values of z mod of z for which x of z converges. Let us try finding z transform of a very basic signal given by x of n is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n where this u of n is the unit step signal. If we try visualizing this signal graphically, it looks something like this. We can see that it is a decreasing function. By decreasing what I mean is, as my n approaches infinity, the value of x of n also tends to 0 or rather it is equal to 0. We can also observe that the value of x of n for n less than 0 is equal to 0. This is simply because we have multiplied this 1 by 2 to the power n factor by the unit step signal. Let us try finding z transform of this signal. We have x of z is equal to summation n running from minus infinity to infinity x of n which is 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n into z to the power minus n. Now as the signal is multiplied by this unit step we can change the limits from 0 to infinity and drop this term of u of n. Therefore we have summation n running from 0 to infinity 1 by 2 to the power n into z to the power minus n. Let us combine the terms. So we have summation n running from 0 to infinity 1 by 2 into z inverse whole to the power n. Now this summation is nothing but an infinite geometric progression of the form summation n running from 0 to infinity a to the power n which is equal to 1 upon 1 minus a provided this mod of a is less than 1. Therefore, uh, the value of our z transform is equal to x of z is equal to 1 upon 1 minus a. Here our a is 1 by 2 into z inverse which can be simplified as z upon z minus 1 by 2. Now all this is true only if the absolute value of our a that is 1 by 2 into z inverse is less than 1 which can be simplified as mod of z greater than 1 by 2. Now this condition of mod of z being greater than 1 by 2 is dependent for the convergence of this z transform and hence the condition or the region of convergence for this example is given by mod of z greater than 1 by 2. Therefore, for our considered example of x of n is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n, we obtain the z transform as x of z is equal to z upon z minus 1 by 2 with a region of convergence of mod of z greater than 1 by 2. In the next lecture, we will see how to visualize this ROC in z plane and we will also see its interpretation in a 3D diagram. Let's stop here.
Thank you.